students can log into Seesaw through a variety of ways during remote learning. We will go over how to manually add students into Seesaw, what functions need to be set for our successful remote learning with Google logins, as well as those for Seesaw for Schools. When you add in your students, you can click the plus button right over to the right that says plus students. It will ask you if you would like to use their Google account for setting up the Seesaw account. For this account, we are going to say no. The next step for remote learning, we will choose one-to-one -one devices. Here, you could type in all of your students' names individually, but a much faster way is to have a list ready and paste the student names right here. So I will click the paste. Here's my handy dandy list of students that I pulled out of Power Schools or another source, and I'm going to copy them and go right back over to Seesaw where I can simply paste them. And now I have all my students ready to add in to my Seesaw account. I will click green check and I can review all the names right here. And if I see that anybody's missing, I could very quickly just type their name right there. And we are ready to go. If you are using Google Classroom and Seesaw, when you start your new Seesaw class, you can choose to import students from an existing Google Classroom. Keep in mind, any students that are not in the Google Classroom at the time of the import will have to be entered manually. This allows students to access their Seesaw account through either their remote learning code or their Google login. If you choose to have your students sign into Seesaw with their Google account, during these remote learning times, it is very important that you remember to go into the wrench and scroll down to students and turn off that students can see each other's work. This is an important step to protect student data privacy when students are working remotely from home. In addition, if you are a Seesaw for Schools school, your Seesaw for Schools administrator will let you know how your students have been entered into the Seesaw system. Please consult your Seesaw administrator to find out that information.